Good morning, everybody. Or good afternoon. Or good evening. Good evening depending it's, on your time zone. That's absolutely right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're back with another episode of the Low IQ Pod. The Low IQ Podcast. <laughs> episode, what are we? Eight. Episode eight. Wow. Oh, yeah, this is coming out tomorrow, you know. But either way, we haven't introduced you yet, so shut up. <laughs> we are joined today with a very special guest. State your name. Cause. State my name, Cars. Theo Baker. Theo born Baker. And raised in Eastbourne. Look at that. Are you from Eastbourne? Yeah. Oh, I think you Joe. did tell me that. You, did you? you know this? You literally just... It says right no. there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We literally wrote it down. I was born in Eastbourne, but I'm actually raised in Seaford. Oh, Never heard of it. Seaford's quite posh, isn't it? No, no, it's just full of old people, same as Eastbourne. Wait, but I thought Joe was born and bred in Brighton or Hove or something. Lives in Eastbourne, born oh, in Brighton. Eastbourne. Are you mates with Elliot Crawford then as well? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, we're all like oh. a, from the same circle of England. Do you still see Joe? Yeah, we still talk all the time. We have a little waffling chat with Luke as well. Mates that. Yeah. Waffling chat, oh, well, let's talk about that. I spoke to you the other day, but... Is waffling ever coming back? When did you speak to me the other day? What the fuck? And when was this? <laughs> what the, this is last week. week. What? Wait, when did you speak to him? Where? You were there. Was I oh, there? that was there in the, in the cafe. <laughs> you were in the cafe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mate, mate no, I have a terrible memory. Terrible, terrible memory. Last week. Yeah, no, it's actually scary how bad my memory is as well. That's really? Great. Well, I don't remember being a kid. Don't oh, you? when can you remember from then? No, Order. because someone said to me the other day, Oh, yeah, I remember being like a six-year-old. I was like, what? No, you don't. You don't. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought about this the other day, right? So I, I saw something about that as well. Like, people can remember from when they're six years old. And I can't remember fuck all. No, but, I can't. But there's this one time, and I remember it so vividly, right, where I was at my uncle's house, and I was probably like seven years old. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Were you in the bath? <laughs> Where's this going? <laughs> no, I was like seven years old, and I was wearing this Power Ranger costume. <laughs> Weird. And I was really? in the toilet. What? And I remember thinking to myself, I want to remember this moment for the rest of my life. Why do you want to remember that? I moment? don't know. But it was <laughs> did you really, really enjoy that time no, no, with your no, uncle it, in the toilet? Really weird. And I literally, when I was like that age, I was like, this random moment. What if I can just remember this for the rest of my life? And I do. Mm, I don't no, think that's no, true. Why true. would seven-year-old okay. Jack be in a Power Ranger costume for no reason? Red. It was red. In the toilet with your uncle. I wasn't with my uncle in <laughs> well, the toilet. Well, you said you were. Really <laughs> <laughs> I was at my uncle's in the toilet. And I remember it so vividly. I remember there was this like picture on the wall with this Concord plane on it. It was mental. Concord? And I, yeah. Whew. What an unreal memory. No, but have you never done that? I thought that was like a... Um, the mm. earliest I can remember is... Oh, is right i was um upstairs stepdad was there oh. right <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, every time, here we go. and i was about um i would say i'm looking like five years old okay oh, that's early it's early five years old mm, i reckon Surely. so well i reckon so and i it's a mad story right and i was upstairs and i heard my, my stepdad and my mum arguing they were shouting and all that shit I don't know if I've told you this before. No. And um, I, I looked down the banister and there was like a, a mirror so I could see what was going on. And he grabbed a, uh, a vase and he smashed it over his own head what? and he collapsed. What? And then the ambulance came. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. I know, it was mental, yeah. True story, that's mad. Why would he smash it? Sorry, what? <laughs> Why would he smash it over his own head? Because he was, he was mental and he was really angry. And he got a vase and he went... Tsh. What happened after that? Ambulance came. Did you ever see him again? Yeah. Just carried on as normal. Pretend really? like nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they knew I saw. I don't know if my mum actually knows I saw oh, that's that. that's wild. Weird. That. Maybe you've got trauma from that. I, th I didn't really think of anything because of it. it well, that, that is crazy. That's like something yeah. you remember for your life. Yeah, but what's going to come of that in my like? I'm just like, oh, he just made oh me God. That, that is <clears throat> Mine's just not. I just remember like my birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? It was a football birthday party. A football How old again? You? Obsessed. Seven or eight. I remember a tennis tournament when I was seven or eight. Like there's. You had the most boring party. You did a tennis tournament for a party. No, 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 no. I had a football <laughs> party, but then I also did a tennis tournament when I was seven or eight, not for my birthday. Oh, I was going to say. Remember a, I remember a swimming party. I must have been like six. Jeez, it, swimming what? party. I don't have great parties, guys. Yeah, I wish I was invited to these fucking swimming what parties. What parties did you do as a kid? Uh, I used to, I remember, oh, I used to go to, um, do you know, know something called um, Banana... 
<laughs> Banana World, I think. Banana World? Something like that. Right. Is it like CJ's? You remember CJ's? What? No, no, no mate. No, that's going to be a Brighton thing. Well, you're... CJ's? I'm not from Brighton. Oh, yeah, yeah, but Eastbourne would have it. Well, clearly not. What but anyway, CJ's? CJ's is like this place where they got loads of balls and like pits and shit. Yeah, it's like that. It's like a play right. area. So I, I went to one of those. What? And they had balls and pits. And then I don't know if you ever went to these, but they had um, little goodie bags. Mm. And they always used to put like mm. coloring pencils in and Ooh. cakes and stuff. Mm. Balloons. Yeah. That's the kind of shit I like. Oh, yeah. I remember goodie bags. I loved a good, and they came with those little army people with the parachutes. Yeah. I loved those. Did you ever make your own goodie bags for your own parties to kids? No, nah. don't tell me you did that. Oh, you yeah, didn't. you didn't do <laughs> that. But I didn't. My mum helped me. Would you put in it a Bible? <laughs> it was like a, a a piece of cake, a piece of birthday cake. Did you make it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what else would have been in it? Maybe I reckon like a yours, or something. yours were like football. Oh, do you know what? I reckon your cake had like a football napkin around. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. of course. One of those. Were you but, were you quite popular? No. Yeah, I think so. Well, yeah. I thought I was good at football, so I think that counts. If you're oh. good at football, you sort of like get a cheat code through school, don't you? What, yeah. Through like secondary school, were you like the popular kid? I wouldn't say I was popular, but I definitely was enjoyed. Do you, you enjoy? <laughs> <laughs> you're enjoyed by football. But it's true. If you're good at football, you just get like a free ride through you school. Do. Like, you do. Like, it's unfair, but it's true. So would you mm. always be picked first if someone was captain in, or would you be captain? No, I'd get picked first. Oh Is my it? god, that yeah. was the worst. I'd, I'd say that's probably one of the worst feelings I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Yes. Because I, I was not fat nice as fuck, it? and I'd get picked last. Oh, like it's not nice. I feel bad for you. Apart from badminton, I got picked first. You're badminton. I'm sick of badminton. Really? Yeah. Got full marks in my GCSE badminton. <laughs> You're doing GCSE badminton. <laughs> GCSE badminton. Yeah. Yeah. Most fucking no, no. shittest. Oh no, no GCSE P, but I did badminton in it. Oh, you had to choose like two two sports, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I was yeah. gonna do badminton and bowling. Fuck me. <laughs> bowling at yeah. school? That is, is that not... even on the curriculum? Yeah, you How can do bowling as part is that of your a GCC thing? sport. So did, I'm was... guessing everyone just picked P, uh, PE for GCSE. Yeah, but GCSE PE was sick. Yeah, it was class. Just did you well do good. GCSE PE? Well, we, we, yeah, I did. We, uh, when, when, when I joined in year seven, like my school originally was pretty, like a shit, really shit school. Mm. But then it, you know, that year when like loads of schools became like, um, a, 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 not an academy, but they had like a specialist. They basically yeah. did a whole oh, conversion yeah. of all these schools into like, we became like a sports and science school. Oh, oh And then they just built us a rock climbing wall. What? Yeah. That's fucking yeah. sick. We had a rock climbing wall and a dance studio. So everyone can just did rock you, climbing. Can you, you can rock climb for a GCC. Yeah. Surely that's just, you can just climb a rock. No, no, we had like a whole thing. And it, the, each of the, cli so, so in climbing, it's all graded like 3A, 3B, 3C, and it's like 4A, 4A. 4A oh, it's 3C. more difficult. Yeah. yeah. So if you hit certain, you have to do a certain climb, a certain route to get full marks and stuff. That is, that's, that's, cool. that's pretty cool. Rock climbing that, is yeah. hard to be We fair. climbed Mount Everest uh, what, for Jerry. Yeah, no, well, on a technicality we did. <laughs> Sorry, we, no, you we, cannot say you climbed we, climb we, spe we had tents and everything set up in the climbing room. <laughs> fucking we did. Just go to the and fucking mountain, to, mate. We had to point. climb. So there was, there was, I say there's like 15 different routes on the walls. And we had all these students come in and we all had to just climb up and down until we totaled the height of Everest. Yes, but that doesn't... The, the thing with, We climbed Everest. It took eight hours. Mount... What? Eight, eight hours? It took eight hours. Well, this Record is the thing. time. Mount Everest, Record the hard time. part, is the fact that it's like no oxygen and it's and cold it's as fuck. going to kill you, yeah. And the crevices as well. And the dead people that you have to yeah, walk by. Yeah, not ideal. Would I'm, you climb Mount Everest? No. You, you wouldn't? I wouldn't. You Why? Know, an attention, I just think that it's, it is actually like... I know, obviously, the queue. You see the queues of oh, that everyone look at the queues. They can do it. Anyone can do it. But people die on it every year. Yeah. Like I just how many? Loads. I'm pretty really? sure. Maybe it's probably dropped now. But there's like a lot of a lot of people die or mm. altitude sickness or fail. You I know, just want, it's not worth the risk. Apparently, though, if you die, it's like the best mm. feeling ever. Genuinely, <laughs> genuinely, I read. Well, a book wait, about is it because when you go like, well, it's in di dying of cold. Yeah. So basically, um, I read this book about this guy who went up Mount Everest with this monk. Are they monks? Shaman. Shaman. Monk? Sher Sher Sherpa. Sherpa. A Sherpa. <laughs> Sherpa. Sherpa. Tom Sherman. <laughs> Sherpa. Um, and they went up, and uh, this guy was uh, all fucked, and he uh, he was like, Dark. "Wait, sorry, what, what do you mean? He was all fucked. Why, why he was, was just fucked? all like At freezing, oxygen, altitude, oxygen, everything. Um, and then they he watched him. And the guy was just like looking into nothing and smiling like a crazy person. Yeah, you, yeah. And then he just walked to the edge of the mountain smiling and just sat there just smiling. <laughs> and then he just died. Yeah, I've, I've, there's, <laughs> there are stories like that. I watched a film and one of the stories was he just started like, 
Yeah, like laughing. Yeah. You go all like warm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and when, when they start like, oh, I'm really hot. That's when you know it's you're about to die, die, basically. Well, yeah. right. I wonder if it's true that, you know, when you see like the light at the end of the tunnel, because they apparently you don't go into the light. Apparently you're, you're, so he's probably smiling, sort of going into this light, but he's going into it. If he didn't go into that light, he wouldn't die. That's what I've heard. What? what you haven't mean? heard that? What? That doesn't so mean. You, you haven't heard that? What? So you just like, you're teased by the light? Yeah. And then you so just, so you when you're dying, all you see is like, a tunnel and light at the end. You've heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Light at the end of the tunnel. Exactly. So right. what well, they say, <laughs> <laughs> what they say is you want to go towards a light because obviously it's light, you think it's heaven or something, then brilliant. But don't go towards a light. You've got to stop. You've got to resist. You've got to resist the light. Yeah, that does particles. make sense, actually. And then you pop back well, into isn't earth. that? Don't they say that that's because um, your uh, pineal gland is releasing like... Pineal? Dim. What? What? What, your penis? What? Penile Pen gland. Pen 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 Penile. Penile. Is it penile? Sorry, your penile, penile gland is penile? what? Penile. Your penile gland, apparently people think that it releases DMT into your brain. I thought this was low IQ. That's some yeah, high IQ shit. shit I think well, I saw that on Joe Rogan. We don't know if that's <laughs> true, do we? Well, well, if, if you want to climb a mountain, don't climb Everest, climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Well, that's let me tell you something. Go on then. Mount Everest ain't even the biggest in the world. Whoa. <laughs> We're it's not one because... under, underwater. Yep. That's a fact. Yeah, I know. No, no, but no. Also, also, no one's climbing that. Why not? Yeah, and, they are. And the height of mountains is measured against sea level. Yes, but that's a silly way to measure it because the mountain's bigger than that. But technically it's minus. All right, do you want to hear some more? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. All right, well, let me tell you another fact then. What just happened? <laughs> 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 Your brain just shut down halfway through. He just basically <laughs> reset. Okay. Right, listen, this is a good fact. Uh, so if you take the world, you might know this, and you turn it into a, uh, a snooker ball, it'll be even more round. What? No, 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 hold on, just shut no, up. I know what you're, I know what no, you're no, trying no, to no, say no, here. No. Yeah, okay, I know so what you're trying to say. If you get every... So Mount Everest, how big it is and how peak it is, oh, how big the peak is, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? If you turn the world into a snooker ball... It would be smoother. That's what I'm trying to say. Smoother than there. a snooker ball. I've yeah. heard that. Well, no, it's real. <laughs> Are you sure? You, but it yes. can't, you, but, you, but if I'm touching a snooker ball... You can't feel the crevices. Yeah. Exactly. But if you zoom in... so big. Yeah, but uh, if you zoom in with a, a scope... There's loads of them. There's loads Literally of Literally a little bit of dust, a little bit of dust on a snooker Bigger ball. Bigger than Everest. Bigger than Everest. Is it really? It's all about uh, perception. Oh, fuck, bro. Oh, man, perception. you're in a, you're in that deep shit. I know, today. I've been learning stuff. Now, I want to ask you, Theo, right? Enough of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, waffling, you did that for how long? Mm. I actually don't know. I feel like it was like, oh, lockdown yeah. was like a weird time and like sort of didn't really exist at the same time right yeah you know what i mean like lockdown what was mm. before lockdown i don't really know uh, i think maybe uh, two years maybe two and a half years two and a half years and you started in lockdown no we started before lockdown i thought yeah. we did start before lockdown <laughs> well, you're asking seems, us. yeah you look around you were on it yeah, Joe's it, not no, here, mate. no it was before lockdown because we had we okay. came up with the idea like on a night out was it? Oh, so it was we, one of those. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what happens. I, but I feel like my whole life, when as soon as I'm drunk, I'm like, we should just start a podcast. <laughs> That's literally how it happened, though. <laughs> yeah. And then we, I was like, yeah, all right, yeah, let's do it. And then we just searched, like, a studio space. Mm. And then for two years, past two years, we was in this, like, fucking... First one was, like, a dingy room. And then... Um, the second one was a uh, yeah we we upgraded and then now here yeah and that's all from just a little drunken thought so it, do uh, click oldest here Jack oh yeah here we really go quickly when's your four years ago four years oh, what date was that click on that video what date was that so this is the first four years four years Waffling. ago Theo Baker about his hair transplant didn't wait, work do you know wait click oh, <laughs> no <I didn't. laughs> click open this and then go down May nineteen. Shit, 2019. Way, before, way before lockdown. Oh, no, that's only one year before lockdown. Is it one week? Yeah, it was one year. Okay. One, one week. <laughs> well, we, 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 we never released the first episode we recorded. Why? Because it was just like it. me and Joe, and we realised this is weird. And then we were like, Luke, can you, can you come in here? Oh, was it shit? Because we've been thinking about doing it just me and him. It is was, it shit? No, 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 no. Like, now it was fine. Yeah. But it wasn't like a podcast. We were like, we, we set it up as if like we were next to each other and like doing a YouTube video. <laughs> yeah. And we were like... <laughs> Hmm. Just speaking to the camera. Yeah, we're just like, making a YouTube video. Yeah, so, a podcast. So, waffling's never happening again. Never say never, but. Okay, I, all right, I, Justin Bieber. Never say never. <laughs> but I look at it like the in betweeners. 
Uh, mate, do you know what? I, I listened to your last episode on the way here and you said that exact same thing. What, I'm waffling? Yeah, you were like, I feel like we're the in-betweeners. Well, obviously, I don't want to like, you know, big ourselves up and like compare us to the in-betweeners. But what I mean mm. by that is in-betweeners, they knew when to stop. Yeah. And the reason why it's so iconic is because there was only three seasons yeah. and the films. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. they could have done another season, Yeah. but would it have been the same? Well, the thing is, you talked mm. about in the last episode is like, uh, which I think is very true. Is like you want to be able to talk to your mates and not keep saying save that for the pod. Oh, we we found yeah. that we found that it was ridiculous. We, yeah, we, really. We, we couldn't talk to each other because we were like, no, save it, save it. And then because if you do banter each other off camera, what you got to react Re- it, yeah, react really, it. It's yeah. just like it wasn't the, the same and became more of a chore. Mm. That's Whereas so now true. I think we're a lot better off. But we we haven't had that. I don't feel with us when we no. talk. We don't go. Oh, save that. Sometimes we do. But do you do you do you, do you speak like every day? Are you are you you don't yeah, live near yeah, each other? Yeah, we're about to move in together. Yeah, moving in. Together. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, Save it for the pod. <laughs> <laughs> New favorite sentence. <laughs> so wait, what does Luke do now? Uh, he has just started his own business because he was that's good because he was uh, he was saying that's what he wanted to do. Yeah, he has. Episode. I think it's going pretty well. Doing what? Um, I don't know. It, it's not public, but it, he oh. he. I don't know. If, I don't, I'm sure he won't mind, but he does. Um, every time he explains it to me, I'm like, oh, I still don't get what you're doing. <laughs> but it's basically along the lines of like social media, something. Oh, so he still works in the industry a bit. I think so. Yeah. But he didn't want to be in this industry, like as no, a not at all. Well, he was studying to be a lawyer. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah. yeah. Well, did you want to be in it? Because you kind of started through being in videos with Joe, right? Yeah, I sort of got thrown into the into the. Did into you want mm. Did you want to be in it? I don't really know. I don't really remember, to be honest. It was, it was like nine years ago. I sort of just was helping out on videos and then everyone just said, make a, make a channel. I was like, okay. Mm. And I got a camera and mum was like, I'm not buying you a camera for Christmas. You're never going to use it. <laughs> look. I was like, I'll prove Fuck you wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I, I watched your first YouTube video. <laughs> terrible. The it? other day. It was a Harry Potter music video. Yeah. <laughs> what? Was, yeah. I, and then you called yourself Drake or Malfoy or something. Yeah, yeah. That was, your that was my channel name up until like 120K subs. <laughs> How and quick then, did you grow? It was actually very slow at the start. Was it? Yeah. Well, I'd say very slow. I think it was like 20k subscribers in six months, which I guess is fast. Oh, good. Yeah. That is, good. I, no, it is good. But I think a lot of people thought it was like, oh, you're going to bang instantly and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, but obviously back in the day, that was quite a lot. That is, yeah, that's good. Um, but it was, yeah, it was a, the first year or two was definitely like, what am I actually making here? What do I want to make? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, and then it's like, I don't really, because I don't, I, look, it's so weird, like looking back like eight years ago, mm. like what the hell was I doing? Yeah. I knew nothing. You've I been knew in nothing about years. YouTube, nothing, zero. So it's were good. you working at the time? Because you worked at, I was at, at McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah. yeah, I was at Mackey's. Uh, I actually did three months stint at Tesco's. Oh, I oh, saw yeah. on your Instagram, we went through your Instagram. Oh yeah, go oh, on. And you posted uh, your CV to Waitrose and they declined you. I put it on my Instagram. Yeah, that was <laughs> what on your Instagram. You on your Instagram, I don't know. You also... Wait, what? I was on my Instagram. Like, yeah. I posted Yeah, it. and uh, you posted weird shit. Yeah, I did, yeah. You posted, like, every other day pictures of your feet. We found We've a lot them. of feet pictures. There's a lot of feet pictures. On your we Instagram. want some explaining to do. Genuinely. Yeah. Look, Genuinely. Scroll, scroll down on, on this document, uh, Jack, please. Are they on I know there? I posted, yeah, like, are. music... Wait, wait, oh yeah! Oh, Look at this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why are you what posting the reason this for this? And again, go down again. No, more. look. You know, it says, "Look how swollen my ankle was." Wait, no, there's more. Oh yeah, loads of food pics. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, are we just random? <laughs> We've got loads of random. There we go. There we go. Some Why more do I keep? Po- Why am I? Yep. There's Wish another one. it was sand, really. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what is the relevance? Why? Someone you... make this fucking bed. Hashtag are you help. trying to attract <laughs> some fucking weird old men? <laughs> To wank over your You've feet. You've got those feet where your second toe's bigger than you. It, it's like that. It's grim. Yeah. yeah. It's really That's grim. From football boots where it bent my toe. But also, can you go up quickly, please? Did you have a feet thing? Look at this. Tell me he doesn't look like Logan Paul. No. Uh, and oh, Zach yeah. Efron. Yes. That Zach looks like Ollie, Zac Ollie, Ollie, Ollie used to get Zac Efron when he was younger. I was going to say that. That looks yeah. like Logan Paul and Zach, Zach Efron. Efron. Yeah. You went for the Justin Bieber haircut. Everyone did at that time. They yeah, did. I yeah, did, yeah. to be fair. Good, the good old times with hair. Although your mate looks a little bit better than, than you. He's got his shirt <laughs> Did undone. he pull? He time? pulled. He was a good looking lad. Did you pull? I, I'd say you've got a good like Come facial on. features. With the braces as well. Come Girls on. like that, don't they? 
Well, I was more interested in my football, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I was. Focus he on the he football. declined all the girls. I, yeah. no, I reckon young Malfoy could pull. Yeah. Okay, well... Yeah, let's, let's, let's go along that line. <laughs> so this was at a house party, I presume. And did you remember pulling at this time? I did not. When was your first kiss? It was year eight. Year eight. Do you, oh. I don't remember if I, I do, actually. But what, so what yours happened? Was, How did it go? Yeah. Oh, God, this is so embarrassing. No. Come on. Yes, no, no, come on. Yes, yeah, here we go. Here is we it go. with your current it, girlfriend? No, no, no. Well, no <laughs> hope not. <yeah. laughs> um... It was uh, seven minutes in heaven. Do you remember that game? <laughs> what? When you no, a, we don't, Theo. When, you never played that game. No, seven you minutes in heaven. Never played that game nah. when you were younger. Is that the We're one where they ancient. touch your leg? No, it? they lock you in a cupboard and you have seven minutes and then. What? You know, I thought that was hell? just a weird paedophilia thing. That, I didn't is, know, that was a real. That can't be real. You've you get, never played that game. You get, you no get one locked in a game. cupboard with. You've never played seven minutes in heaven. Right, explain it then. It was with my current girlfriend at the time. Okay, and what did you do? And we just kissed. Wait, so, so they lock you in a fucking cupboard for seven minutes and, and just you're see sitting what you there do. in the dark with a girl. Really awkward. And what if a girl doesn't want to do it? She's like, what's like, I'm, you're right. What, then you just chat to her. What, yeah. So, so you're both just... You've never played seven minutes in heaven. No, that mate. sounds mental. No one does that. That sounds ever. absolutely mental. Not, n- no. No one's what? done nah, that. I'm telling you, I'm not a weirdo. That is weird. Yeah. That is weird. Unless we're in Nazi Germany, no one's playing that, mate. Being <laughs> locked into a fucking cupboard. So does... No, you, you're not locked. You can come out at any point. So, oh, okay. So it could be three minutes in heaven. No, hey, this is it's a real game. Yeah, it could be three minutes. This How is a real game. Look, heaven everyone... experience? Huh? How long was your heaven experience? Did you do seven minutes? I, don't, I can't remember, but look, it says here, seven minutes says heaven is a kissing party game mostly played at teenage parties. The game may also be played with a... Different duration. Oh, did, did, did 20 be, minutes in heaven. Did, do people um, shag in there? I guess so. But then isn't everyone just listening to you? Yes. No one, you're not out there going, come on, guys, keep, keep well, going. Everyone, sorry. So what's they, the point yeah, in the so cupboard? They go, Theo, can you get do in you the cupboard? Do you know what cupboard? it is? I think, it, the I think it's, it's <laughs> excuse for like... To kiss. To kiss, yeah. So do you do you find the girl that you want to go into seven I'll minutes? I'll be like, should we well, do seven minutes in heaven It'd probably be like your girlfriend. So she was your girlfriend at the Yeah. You must just kiss her. Hold on a minute. So, so, she was already your girlfriend. Yeah, but you know when you're younger and it's a bit ner- you're still nervous. And yeah, like, yeah, isn't that young? It's quite young. I was like, what, it's 12? 13? So your first kiss with your already girlfriend was in a cupboard <laughs> that you forced upon yourself. <laughs> I didn't force it. I got nominated to go in the cupboard. You were nominated with your own girlfriend to kiss your girlfriend. Yeah, they are, looking back, they set me up good. <laughs> that is meant... And you're still with yeah. her to this day? No. Oh. <laughs> what? I, thought... <laughs> I thought you said you were. <laughs> no. Oh, right. No, yeah. we last like two so months. What's this girl doing I'm now? I'm not surprised. Well, she... No. <laughs> He's got a restraining order. Against you. <laughs> it's a real game. People I've played this game. It. Okay, mate, you Have made you, it up. When was your first kiss? Well, I think my first kiss was uh, when I had that re- weird thing in Spain. Oh, yeah, we don't want to go into <laughs> that. That's mad. I, yeah, like I had this girl in Spain, right, who would go between me and my brother. What? <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> she would date me and then date my brother. <laughs> How old are you at this point? Uh, I must have been about. Eight or nine. And how, and how old was she? <laughs> she was one year older than me and one year younger than my brother. So mm. she was in between. So it was a literal sandwich. <clears throat> and um, yeah, she'd date. I can't remember who she date first. Probably my, my brother, Miles. Dating at the age of nine. <laughs> <laughs> and we did, we called it, well, we, I don't know, even know what we called it. We just sort of held hands and kissed like a little bit. Okay. I think so. And um, I think we must have been in her, her room, her bed. She had like a single sort of bed and... Uh, we played GTA Vice City together. Oh, she's not allowed to play. That's an 18. Well, I know. Uh, we break the rules around here. Right? In Spain, they have no fucking rules, mate. <laughs> and then she would um, we'd go to sleep and she, she, she was more advanced than I was in the maturity brain. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but she was 10. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she, would, she would like, she'd get a bit more frisky than me. And I wouldn't know. I'd freeze up. And so, she, do you know what I was doing when I was 10? Go on. Like, <laughs> Club Penguin. Club, no, no, I, no, no, I played it. What? Let him answer. There was one, one. It was mini clip and FIFA. Oh, okay. I was playing FIFA. I was playing career mode with that like, heart. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I was just getting touched up by a ten-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> you were also nice. What about your your um your kiss? Um, do you remember when, you, when do you think it was? Yeah, I remember it. It was at a party, but I didn't know how to do it. So I thought. <laughs> so I was like laying down with this girl. She was. Uh, she was. Oh God! It sounds. It sounds worse than it was. Right. 
Um, but there was this girl, she was lovely. I was mates with her, but she was crying. Right. So, and you thought this is no, my no, opportunity. No, no, no. And then one of my other friends was trying to pull her while she was crying. And I was like, oh, come on, mate, get out of here. She's uh, mine. <laughs> yeah. And then I went off with her. How, how, how old were you? Um, I must have been like 15. Okay, guys, so this is a paid advertisement from BetterHelp. So, obviously, it's uh, getting to December. It's very cold, wintery yeah, now. and dark I, earlier. I prefer the summers. I do too, I festival you. season. And this time of year, it can, you can feel natural to feel a bit of sadness and anxiety. Well, I feel it. like it, Christmas is a lot, especially if you've got a big family, you know. It's quite a... Uh, you've got a lot of pressure to... Uh, Give people the best gifts you can. Yeah, yeah, 100%. But, you know, adding something new and positive in your life, positive thinking, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, can, yeah. you know, counteract some of those feelings of Love holiday that. blues. Love that. Well, what can help you feel grounded and manage what's going on? You know, it's more beneficial towards you at this time of year. Mm. Uh, a lot of people do actually like to get therapy, don't they? Well, yeah, you know, I think it's a great way to, you know, organise your thoughts, help you deal with that, you know, over powering pressure that's uh, put on you at this time of year and with over a thousand therapists in the UK already better help can provide access to mental health professionals with a wide variety of expertise in mental health also Jack our listeners you guys obviously we love you you get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash low IQ that's better com slash low IQ so if you're struggling this time of year obviously you get down from you know summer blues and stuff like that like we've just said maybe you're feeling lonely this can be a lonely time of year for some people exactly what we what we're just saying is you can get some better help um through better help dot com slash low IQ. And before we get back to the podcast, a massive thank you to the people over at BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode and helping out the low IQ boys. Helping out the 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 kingdom. The low IQ kingdom. Um okay. but then we were like laying down and I was like, oh I hope you're all right. And then she went in for it. I I was trying to comfort her. You know what I mean? Um, oh, but then when we were kissing, we were like, <laughs> like rolling around on the floor <laughs> and like going backwards and forwards. And then people Very were passionate. videoing us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah. It looked like you're mugging her or something. Yeah. It looked really, yeah, it was bad. So she, she's got tears down her eyes no, and you're rolling point. on the floor. I comforted her at this point. I, I yeah, That's very nice of you. Actually. I wasn't going into this. I literally went into it to be like, oh, I hope you're all right. And then she pulled, went in for the pool. Nice. <laughs> she went in for the pool. There's some dodgy house parties when we were here. Yeah, that's some, I went to a few yeah. in Brighton, actually. Could have been <laughs> yeah. the same one, for all we know. Nah, ours was quite the cool one. Well, you're, you're the oldest here, actually. Actually, to be fair, when we were like 14, 15, we had a house party with Harry. He, he's got a massive house, right? Who's but Harry? Harry, the guy that usually is on here. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, and he had a massive house. So when we were 14, he'd host the fattest parties. Fattest parties? Yeah, and we'd... Right. Uh, Bear in mind, we were 14. There was these guys who were like 18 to 21 who were seeing some of these like, you know, them girls who are rough Slightly in the ones, year. Yeah. Sorry. Well, not just rough. Yeah. And they'd have boyfriends who were like 18 years old and they came with bottles to like gate crash this party oh, you full of 14 years old. Year old. And one of them bottled Harry's dad <laughs> and headbutted him. Brian, That's not weird. very nice. Mental, isn't it? <clears throat> a bit weird if you say so. It is weird. But I was going to say, your girlfriend now, right? She's not in the industry, is she? Would you, hypothetically, um, date someone that's in the industry? If you were single. If yeah, you were I sing mean, if you get on. You would. Yeah, but would you... No, the better, better question is, right, would, you, would, would you date someone out of the industry? Okay. Yeah, well, course. he does. Yeah, I do. Oh, that's, right. that's, that's a question. <laughs> All right, I bet. I'll would you ask do what better. you do now? <laughs> okay, I'll ask a better one then. Do you find it hard... <laughs> <laughs> to date outside in the no. industry would you find it hard no way no, no. if you get if you've got a connection you've got a connection do you think people are using you though oh uh, that's where you're going this yeah that's what I think, I'm doing. I think I think you can tell mm. I think you can tell when someone's like legit or not I feel mm, like yeah. okay would you care if she was like 10 10 and you knew she was using you yeah I would care yeah would you still fuck her though no what the hell? He, no, of course not. Because if, if you actually want a meaningful relationship, yeah, but you still you might as well still fuck her though. What the hell? Well, it depends what you're looking. What? It Sorry, if you're, you're single for. and a and a ten out of ten. Yeah, but are you looking up... to be with this person forever or not? Well, you're just, you're just thinking. Oh, sh if you're looking for like a one night stand, yeah, who cares? Yeah, but if you're if you're not looking anything, you're just looking at the <laughs> tits. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I don't know. I Would don't you? think no, because if they're out to get something from you, they could also 
like tries to start situation. manipulating things and oh what that happened lies. with like Neymar and shit, didn't it? It's true. Someone, he recorded someone lying about him. I did see that. Yeah. I don't know enough about the facts, but I think so. You They're in careful. a hotel room. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, you got to be careful for sure. Yeah, I think when you're that big, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, we're not quite It's like when uh, the England players went to Sweden or Norway or something and they, they brought back these girls and they just started filming them and then they got banned from the England team, do you remember? Shit. Why? Well, they it's were filming them doing it. It was during stuff. lockdown. Yeah, they filmed him um, filming. The, the, the manager was like, you're not, manager was like, you're not allowed to go anywhere or bring anyone in. Mm. And then the, the, the footballers brought these girls in and they just started like posting it on their Snapchat. Oh, shit. And then the gaffer saw it. They're like, right, well, you guys are banned from England now. From England? The from team. England. <laughs> the team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The you team. going back to England. <laughs> yeah. yeah the Stay team. there. Um, yeah, not really? That's Does yeah. your girlfriend find it hard? Like uh, when you get like attention and stuff. I don't get attention. <laughs> well, surely. You, yeah. You no must, way. You get mean? When you go out. He gets beaten up. No. <laughs> I don't really go out anymore. Okay. Yeah, but. No, I you're... genuinely don't get attention. No, sure. Especially for, no, of course not. Real? Why? What do you mean? Me. Yeah, but no, you go out on the street, people recognise you. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Like, yeah that's... Not for, I don't get attention from girls. Oh, no, obviously not. But I'm saying... <laughs> what do you mean, obviously <laughs> not? No, I'm joking. What do you mean, obviously not? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, when people come up. Yeah, like, uh, she's pretty good with it now. I think, the like, the first time I went on a date, the first time I met her, like, within, like, 10 seconds of me, and I had someone ask for a selfie, and she was like, what the fuck yeah. is this? It's a bit weird. Or did she not know you? She had no idea, yeah. No idea. But it was like, now it's like, now she's used to it. Now she's used to it. See, yeah. She's good. She's really good. But it can be a bit like, it's, yeah. Certain annoying. scenarios can be a bit odd. The, the worst part is my girlfriend, I mean, same thing, she's got used to it. But sometimes if we're at a, events, there's certain people that don't include them and they'll almost turn their back while they're 100%. talking to us. All the time. Man. All the time. Really? All the time. Yeah. Yeah. And like, especially when girls do it, she hates it because like, odd. it's like girl code. You'd be like, oh, hi. Yeah. And you know, when you meet someone, you're like, if I meet someone, I'd always say hi to whoever they're with. Yeah. But when people don't, it's like... Well, oh, that's just people aren't being just nice dickheads, people. Yeah. You know what, what I mean? Like, yeah. What I think it is though, is they're, they're so fixated on like <clears throat> you... Or you or me or whatever, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be included. No, that they they push whoever, even when you're with friends or whatever, mm. they push them out of the way, quite mm. literally, like they go in front of them and they just literally look at you. I had it the other day. Remember, I'll tell you this, right? In Brighton, we went out and uh, so some guy runs up to me and he's like, Cole, Cole. I really, oh, I really love your fucking videos, blah, blah, blah. And then it was like, oh, yeah, like you do your videos with that. Um, Jack was right here. He goes, you do videos with um, that Jack Joseph, but um, I actually, I, I, he's all right, but I, I way prefer you and your videos. <laughs> Jack is literally right here. And then I go, well, you can say it too. You <laughs> and he's like, oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> sorry, which is mad. So he he's so fixated. Mm. I think they get so fixated on the person in well, front of them. Well, they get nervous as well. I was literally, yeah. so like, not even behind him, like here. <laughs> Yeah, and I was literally staring at him like this. Hello. Yeah. Um, and then he turns around. And he goes, "Oh, I love you. I took a picture of you last time." Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, that's bullshit. Yeah. Splat. We had a thing on the train. Uh, we were going up to Fodscast, Ben Foster's thing mm. on the train, and uh, this guy comes up to me and goes, "Oh yeah, man, love you on pitch side. Love it. Like, mm. can we get a photo and stuff?" I'm like, yeah, so I love you and Tom Garrett as well. Like, he's great. And like, I'm sat next to Reeve. I'm sat next to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he goes, trying to take a photo. And then he just walks off. And we're just like, what? What was, what was that whole scenario? And then as we're getting off the train, I see him again, this guy again. Mm. He goes, oh, I feel my photo's blurry or whatever I think it was. Can I get another one? Can you take it? And ask Reeve to take it. <laughs> and he has no, no, he says, I love picture. I love Tom Garrett. And had no clue. But he's a Reeve was. Every week, isn't he? And he just looks him in the face and goes, thanks. He's, a, he's the host. That's fun. And we, me and Reeve are like... What has just happened there? How is that even possible? Yeah, how is... Yeah. Unless he just... It just, obviously, there's something... Maybe he's like just in clips or something. It, I don't... Mm. How we were... That, we were left, like, utterly confused from the whole situation. Yeah. yeah but maybe he doesn't like Reeve. Mm. Who doesn't like Reeve, yeah, man? Yeah, that's true. He's the most... He's a lovable guy. Yeah, that is true. That's true. He's lovely. I wanted to say something about pitch side. I remember, didn't someone do an arm wrestle? Was that you? Mm. Was that pitch side? Oh, that of course it was. Yeah. Your arm, yeah. yeah. Did you break your arm? I can't remember. I didn't break. How did guys, come on, man. Who broke this? This was arm? the most iconic thing that happened I know, this year. I think <laughs> I even messaged you when it happened. This happened in May, towards the end of the last season. 
me and Tom had an arm wrestle on camera. And you broke his arm. Snapped his humerus in half. Fuck. Yeah. You snapped his? Yeah. It, I did see I, that, The video is yeah. fucked. The, the, we, were, we were live for five minutes and we were like, okay, let's end the live. We had to end the live stream. Oh, what did it feel like when it was... It was, it was foul. I found oh, it out. The, yeah, got the that's why... You, you got the x-ray? Yeah. We have, we've never released the x-ray to public, but I can show you guys if you want to see oh, it. Would you release yeah. it to the public? No, it's up to Tom. Oh, yeah. It's up to Tom. Yeah, it's up to Tom. His, his, his that, was a bad, that was a bad day. Yeah. That was a, that was a real bad day for Tom. So what, Getting him out of the fucking studio. When, bear in mind, so he is a clean break. Oh, oh up there? Yeah, humorous. It's just this boat, so the, apparently it broke because... So the, this bone in particular... And many bones actually, they can be bent and they can be pulled. They're yeah. fine, but it's twisting. They don't like twisting. Oh, because oh, it's tw yeah, it's twisting, isn't it? Yeah, but that's why I'm so scared of. That's, you I, told me to do. Oh no, no someone has. No, I said I'd never arm wrestle yeah, anyone. I never arm wrestle. We um, and then no I, one will ever arm wrestle ever again. No, fuck. I never do. And and I sent you the other one, like Larry Wills. I don't know if you know Larry Wills. He did it with some other fucking yeah. guy the other day, and I'm like, nah, fuck that. Here you go, look. <clears throat> Oh my god! Oh, yeah, I split that. Oh the... my god! That's... How do you fix that? He had to have surgery two weeks later, so we had to put him in a cast. I had to help because it's short staff, so I had to help the staff get him in a cast because obviously he was. <laughs> they got you as a doctor. <laughs> yeah, I had to help. Dress you up. We had to like wrap it in because basically because of how it broke, his arm was just like. Yeah. He couldn't yeah. wait. 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 He was two screaming, weeks. man. He was. It was bad. Yeah. He had to wait two weeks to get surgery. So his arm was all flipping yeah. for two weeks. The rough two weeks for Tom. Oh, really bad to me. Yeah, it was awful. Was he screaming after it happened? Mate, he had to... Yeah, so we got him into the car. It, it took quite a while to get down because he couldn't... So we had to put his arm on a pillow and, like, wheel him in a chair and get him into my... I had to then drive to the hospital around the corner with him in the car. Yeah. Oh, mate, he was... I don't know how he did it. He was... He fucking took it. But then he got, yeah. got to the hospital. By the time we got to the hospital, which was, like, 20 minutes after the live had ended, everyone in the hospital was talking about what had happened on camera. So the news had spread so fast. Yeah. All the nurses knew what had happened. Oh, wow. It was, I'd never seen and, anything like it. And you it. were alive at the time. We were alive. Yeah, mate, it, was, it went so viral. Yeah. yeah it was nice. crazy. Um, yeah. How many people were watching at the time? Oh, at the time, like 4,000 maybe. But it's got like hundreds of millions of views. Yeah, now, yeah. It but um, I had to, we had, he had to go get an X-ray. I, I, I was waiting outside the X-ray room. Mm. And like, I could just hear him just like, ah. Oh, really? Screaming, Man. yeah. The thing is, uh, sometimes you get into so much pain that your body sort of like blocks it out. Shit, no, well, that's... She went into shock yeah. and adrenaline. Well, he was on the... They put him on the green pen and like loads of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But... Um, we had a little moment as well when when we when we the X-ray came through. Mm. They're like, "Fear, do you want to come and look at it?" Because obviously Tom, Tom can't really see. He didn't want to see it. Like he didn't. Oh, yeah. want to fuck yeah. And I went into the. I just went into like the staff room to have a. It was so it was weird. And I saw it. I was like, Oof. and then it's when it hit me. And I started crying. Oh. I was like, I felt so bad for Tom. And then Tom started crying. Oh. I think that was when we had like we had like this little moment of like. <laughs> it just fuck, broke your arm. Yeah. What just what the fuck just happened? And. Oh, um, He's fine now, though. Yeah, he's got a plate holding his arm together. For the rest... Oh, does Forever. That... Forever. Yeah. Yeah, but you're through in dislike. He should heal better, but yeah. he's still rehabbing it still, like... Do you feel bad? His... Yeah, felt awful. Mm. But, oh. but me, it did wonders for pitch side. Yeah. So oh, yeah. many subs. The... Oh, we... Have you seen... You've not seen a scar? Have you seen uh, a scar? Uh, You've not seen a scar? Nah. You always ask questions over and over. <laughs> when you're we give you an answer... You haven't seen a scar? You seen a scar? And you just ask it, <laughs> then ask it. That's nuts. And you feel bad, yeah. I felt terrible. Yeah, here you go. I, got I can't imagine the feeling that. when it happened. Oh, Shit. my God. Has, has that been released to the public? Yeah, yeah, his scars everywhere, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, that was Jeez. wild, man. Never again, I tell you. No, <laughs> arm wrestles will never what, be Why done. were you doing it? Someone donated saying, guys, have an arm wrestle. Oh, I bet they oh, feel fair. No, we know who they are. How, and they donate all the time. He feels... He feels we how much did they donate? Fiver. Oh, <laughs> Fiver. Yeah. And the worst part is... It was meant to be Will and Chris arm wrestling. Because Will and Chris were on the show. It was Will and Ian and Chris MD. Yeah. Mm. It was meant to be them arm wrestling. And we were like, oh, don't worry, we'll do it instead. <sighs> that is the that worst. That is the butterfly effect if I've ever That's seen That's so it. mad. Don't you yeah. think if that guy had like anything else going on in his day, that never would have happened? Yeah. But he, he yeah. can't blame him because he's in the no, show all the time. But oh, he must have mm. felt awful. No, but as in like the way things work. Like yeah, how yeah, it ends weird, up, right? He could have been at work or been yeah. called into work or but, his mum could have fallen down the stairs. Yeah. A long day. I suppose that could happen. Yeah. <laughs> he, obviously, Tom's from Birmingham, so he like because they didn't know when the surgery was going to get booked in. He had to like, am I going to stay the night here or whatever? Mm. We put him in a taxi. He got with the car, put him in a taxi back up to Birmingham. Oh, that's fine. Surgery two weeks later. So obviously, the, the recent news I want to talk about: Matthew Perry, who's obviously recently passed away, Chandler mm -hmm. Bing out of Friends. 
Um, what do you think about that? Obviously, it's horrible. Very sad. Very, very, very sad. Too young. Very, very young. young. He was only... 54, I think he was. 54. Yeah. Uh, he also, it... I'm glad they did the reunion what, last year. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. I think it's good that everyone got to see that. 100%. Didn't alive. they have talks about another series mm. when they're older? Or is that bull bull I think that's bollocks. Was it just a reunion? I think they just did the reunion. I think it's a reunion. And uh, did you watch, so basically, when he died, I watched this interview. Um, I can't remember who it was with. It was like a 45 minute interview that he released 11 months ago about his book. Mm. I don't know if you've seen it. But he talked about his addiction yeah. and it made me realise he was saying like, oh, yeah, uh, addiction isn't something you can literally, you can't get rid of it. It's yeah. literally in your head. Your brain Subconscious, isn't it? is literally saying to you, it's, it's not making you forget about alcohol. It's yeah. saying to you, oh, you need a drink, you need a drink. And he said that um, when he was a kid, he was about 14 when he first tried alcohol. And he said that it hit him so much differently to the normal person that he would have alcohol and his life would get he'd be like ecstatic and he would be the happiest he's ever been. Really? Did yeah. he drink That's throughout it as well? Pardon? Did he drink just throughout? Yeah, well, like, you'll yes. notice um, oh. if you watch Friends, right, you watch each season and his weight fluctuates yeah. From the, yeah. that's what happens. He, he was on it. drugs and then, well, I think, really? it, I think it was on drugs, but and then it was on um, uh, alcohol. Might not be drugs, but alcohol, definitely. And what he thinks it is, he says he doesn't blame his parents for this, but he was a, uh, do you know what a colicky, ba colicky baby is? So he was a colicky baby, mm. which means you get like excessive crying for no reason. You have like oh. crying fits, right? So his parents gave him this, uh, um, this drug and it was called phenobarbital. Right? right, and that's yeah. like a depressant drug that generates addiction. So they get they gave him this for like thirty days straight as a newborn baby, his first month of life, yeah. and that would have just fucked. But that would have been up. they would have been told by doctors to do yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. Well. So that was just yeah. more medicine. When he talks about that in his book, he talks about that in the interview and the book. Is the and book out? Can you? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's out. I might go read that. Yeah. yeah, it'll be sick. So he thinks that's what triggered the alcoholism. But it's very interesting. That he was very aware of all of this. Yeah. I guess but, when he was younger during Friends, he might not have been aware, and it's only now he because mm, mm. he didn't. He, he said that he didn't want to talk about it, and he was he was a really like jealous person as well. So yeah. when he got cast for Friends, he said that he was really annoyed that um, all his cast members didn't have to deal with the addiction, and they didn't even know about it like yeah. early on. A lot of people in that industry, you know, suffer with that addiction. Like Charlie yeah. Sheen talks about it. He that, really yeah, suffered. drugs and stuff, isn't it? That? Yeah, I, I think someone was saying as well, like um, a lot of people in that industry, there's a, a bit of a culture around taking drugs. I don't know how true Very that is. Hollywood, isn't it? Very Hollywood, yeah, like who you're around. But it is sad. But I, they haven't released the reason, really, have Didn't they? Didn't he, he drowned? He, in his jacuzzi, yeah. But he posted the day or something before him in his jacuzzi. And a week, uh, week before. A week before. And. Uh, I'm not saying this is true. This is just something that's going around. It's like, he was like, um, it was like a Batman thing in the sky or something or a moon. And he was like, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, I am Batman. Do you understand what I'm saying? And there's comments saying, is this you, um, your signal for help? Mm. Because the Batman logo in the sky is a signal for help. Yeah. Um, and there was loads of comments saying, do you need help? Is this your signal for help? So people were saying he was trying to give signals. Yeah, and that was, have you not seen the pictures? No. And that's not only, there's not only one picture, right? Yeah. So there's about five. So he didn't post on Instagram for about a month or so. And then randomly, he started posting about five pictures to do with Batman. He had a Batman logo in his pool. He posted yeah. the moon. Oh, shit. Saying, saying yeah. the I'm, pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, do yep. you know what I mean? Sleep well, everybody. I've got the city tonight. Batman. Yep, yeah. Yeah. And then a chapter in his book. The this final, is weird. no, the final word. The final chapter in his book is called um, Matman, isn't it? And it says, if in doubt, think about what Batman would do and do that. So, And then he died. Here he is, me, both holding a beverage with his father. Weird that, though, isn't it? Well, either way. Either way, rest in peace, rest in uh, peace. Matthew Perry. You're what an absolute icon. What a legend. legend. Yeah. Absolute legend. But going on to... Um, Something Some a bit more questions. <laughs> general questions, right? Well, actually, I wanted to ask you about your McDonald's. Oh, experience. yeah. We Good forgot to ask that. What are some McDonald's secrets? Let us into the McDonald's inside world. Any secrets you can remember? I remember being told, I remember going around like um, people used to clean the vats with Sprite. Right. What? Why do they do that? Not the, the grills, sorry. 
And they, they used to do that because it would get rid of the grease better than just oh, wiping it yeah. down. So they used to clean it with Sprite. Really? I suppose that's, yeah. that's a better version than yeah. bleach. I don't think they do it anymore. Oh, right. Did anyone, whilst you were working there, like, because, uh, you know, my mum always tells me, like, when you're at restaurants, like, the chefs would, like, shit in your burger and shit. I don't think they would do that. Not shit, but they will like, rub spit. their fingers. No, 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 no. That we were, we were a lovely McDonald's. We were, our McDonald's was basically me and my mates at college. Really? Plus just randoms. Did you get free food at McDonald's? Yeah. yeah did you get free like, food on your break? Oh, yeah. 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 Um, the thing is, though, you get snot-nosed gimps working there sometimes, and they're touching their fucking pubes, oh, yeah. noses, and they're touching your burger, squirting the shit in there. <laughs> Popping what what is the thing? I've always wondered this. I guess you both worked at McDonald's, so you did as yep. well. I did as well. How many years? Ten months. <sighs> How many? Did you, what, what was you? Two and a half years. Jeez. Oh fuck! Oh, no, you're not that much of a loser. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get the stars on your badge? All four. <laughs> Refu refused promotion as well. I don't want to. You know, <laughs> said, oh, really? I'm not planning on being here longer. <laughs> oh wow! Got four stars. Crew what, trainer. what is the deal with the McFlurry machines? Why are they always broken? No, I think it's they overheat. Is that what it I is? I think they overheat, yeah. Like, you know, you do realize, like, um, if you get served a McFlurry and it's not being flurried, like, you can, like, sue them. Oh, really? Maybe, not, maybe not sue them, but, like, it's false advertising. So if you get served an unflurried then McFlurry, you have, you, every right, you have every right to complain. Wait, what does flurry mean? So you, 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 put it, you make it and you have this little device, so that, you know, the spoon. Yeah. You put the spoon up into the, so the spoon is the thing that spins round. Yeah, and it flurries. And it flurries it. But wow. no one fucking does it anymore. They're oh, lazy. I've got a good thing actually about McDonald's. Apparently, I don't know, I might need fact checking on this, but a woman sued McDonald's for like millions. Yeah, no, this is true. This but is a coffee. Hundreds, that's why on the, on the Wait, coffee what? cup now. Yeah. So she, this was before, you know, on the coffee cup it says oh, warning hot. Mm. Before, before this woman, that didn't exist. Yeah. She got handed a coffee, it spilled, burnt her. And she was like, why didn't you tell me it was hot? And sued them for millions. Yeah, how much has she sued that them for? Fucked. Yeah, millions. Millions. Smart. And ever since then, that is why it says warning hot. Yeah, on that, the that's very smart. On the hot, yeah. Wow. 79 years old. Oh, 20, oh, 20 grand. Oh, she no, only... she filed. I swear she got more than that. She, she got, got way million. more than Maybe it's that. a different one. Oh, yeah, no. <clears throat> in, she got 200K in... Com 200K, there you go. In damages. They all suggested well, that McDonald's paid 2.7 million in punitive damages. Yeah. She fucking cate it. Oh, a sum that was based on the revenue from two days of coffee sales. Oh, she made three mil because she burnt herself on a coffee. Genius. That is. This genius. is the thing, though. In America, getting sued is like the norm. Everyone does. Everyone gets sued. Do They'll do it very neat. Do you know, we once had um, we uh, uh, this couple came in and complained. They're like, "I got maggot in my drink." No, right, sure. And we're like, "What the fuck? This is like really bad. Mm. Like, this is really bad." The maggots had cut. They were at the bottom of the ice, so they'd come up from the from like the tube and the ice. Oh my god! And our manager at the time was like, "Oh, don't worry. Like, we need to we need to hush hush this." Hmm. So they're going to go to the press. You're like, oh, I can offer you like a free meal <laughs> <laughs> for a maggot. Yeah, right. Wait, he refused. He was like, "I can offer you two free meals," and I was like, "You have to." There's a maggot. There's a fucking maggot yeah. in their drink, and who else? There might be more in other people's drinks. Yeah. They just don't know. We've been serving oh, this ice oh all day. God. Just serving maggots. And he was just offering them free meals. The McMaggot. Oh. The McMaggot, yeah. <laughs> I saw one recently of this woman who got her Chinese food through and it had a rat in it. Oh, not nice. Yeah. I've seen that. Yeah, nice. old rat. But I will say this. Normally, the, the McDonald's like, food standards like, within the kitchen are like, oh, so high. They're going to have to be. They have, like, we, were, we were like under strict super supervision. What mm. happened with the maggot boy? I think they just accepted they got free free dinner, I think. <laughs> they got a refund. Refund. <laughs> well, I, I hope so. Yeah. Do you ever have to deal with people like front end? Yeah, sometimes they were Did like Do you ever have any problems with people? Not not really, but you just get like the normal like, okay, okay, right, manager. Just go give them oh, some. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like errands. very annoying. I used to I was on window one a lot. So I was taking oh, yeah, I was yeah, well, taking the orders and doing it. Have you seen that video recently where that woman's at the window? And she, like, says there's no chicken left or some shit. So the guy jumps through the window and just starts stabbing her. What? In no, America. I haven't seen this video, Jack. In America, it's mental. That is, Stabs her. That is yeah. mental. No, that is actually mental. Yeah. That's we never had, We had some wild shit, but not like that. We had this but woman... That's America, isn't it? ...who would order a Big Mac, um, only pickles. 
So you'd only eat the pickles? Up. As in, no, only pickles in the burger. As in, there was no burger. It was just pickle, a, a Big Mac box full of like 24 pickles. <laughs> and she's paying <laughs> pr- price for this. Yeah, Does no. she know you can get pickles anywhere else? Yeah, she's just what, she go to pickles, Lidl. Yeah. A whole pickle. Loved pickles. Arguably, pickles the worst part of a burger. Oh, I, I hate the pickles. I get it, no pickles I every year. I love them. No, no, wow. foul. Foul what, beef, What is babe. your order then? Depends what, I just tried the new Philly cheese steak burger. It's fucking unreal with the cheese sauce and the crispy onions. Haven't they got rid of the chicken legend? Chicken legend, that was a sad time. Bro, sad. I got a chicken mm. legend every time. Uh, and the chicken deli as well. That was unreal. Oh. They got rid. I know you, you probably won't care about this. They got rid of the cone and flake. Oh, yeah. I fucking really? loved that, mate. Really? Yes. That was a ball they, ache. They that was the to... worst. When we got one of them through the orders. Oh, my God. Why? So, you... so difficult to make, mate. All you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, they had to get. <laughs> Can you come and do the cone again? There's like one person who knew how to do I'm it. Sure. Yeah, That's probably why they fucking scrapped it. Yeah. Getting so, getting <laughs> so, irritating. So, many. so irritating. So <laughs> irritating. But I loved Cone and flake, and it was like 99p. And now you can't get a 99p from a fucking ice cream. No, you can't, yeah. They're like £1.50. Yeah. They're mad. We had, yeah, we had some fun times. I got locked in a freezer once. <laughs> oh, seven minutes in the freezer. <laughs> seven minutes in the freezer. <laughs> I was yeah. with your girlfriend. <laughs> no, I came in smelling of booze. It was like a real was hanging. I had like one hour sleep. Mm. They just put me in the freezer to sober up 15 minutes. Does that, they did, went to, did it work? Freeze. I don't know if it they did work. Did you? They put me in the freezer. Like, sober up. Like, the, they they just tough. opened it and you yeah. just fucking I got, I got a scar from it. Look, I got not from the freezer, but I got a little scar here mm. from McDonald's. What because it was a, you know, the, you know the people that had to put the metal prong in the vats to measure how hot the vats are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He just decided oh. to... Yeah, I was, I, was on an ov- I was on an overnight and I was eating mozzarella dippers, which I shouldn't have been doing. <laughs> oh, he's Stealing. Hard. He's hard. And um, they started like chasing me with it. I was like, banter. It was like, my man, <laughs> the was my mate, though, so it's a bit like... And uh, they just got me by accident. I was like, fuck. And it, you could have sued for me. I could have done, yeah. Oh, it, mate, it was, it was yes. a bubble, a bubble on my arm. And I, and I came in the next day and the big boss was like, um, how'd you get that on your arm? Ooh. I was like, oh, uh, nothing. nothing. That snitch. guy fucking cow prodded me. What? I said it was, yeah, but I didn't want to snitch because she was like, if you don't tell me who did this, I'm going to look at the CCTV. Mm. Uh, she can't can't look at the CCTV because she'll see me eating mozzarella dippers oh, <laughs> oh double oh. fucking whammy yeah so I, I had no choice I, you snitched yeah did they get fired no two two weeks leave oh two weeks paid did leave. they get paid I don't know nah they were sound those were mates it was fine it's yeah. Really yeah it was it was fine fair enough the the next and last segment for you Theo Baker is say it or shot it okay so this is say it or shot it okay with Theo Baker this is the first time I think we've ever ever done this mm. I don't know tell us I'm nervous things. you know I'm very nervous yeah are you really? I'm a bit yeah. nervous I don't know if you ask us something okay so the first question well should we should we get him a drink so this is say it or shot it um we've poured you a a drink I'm hungover as well this is foul I know you are do you want to smell it just to see what it's because you don't know what drink it is we're not going to tell you what drink it is. <laughs> Rough, <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty grim. It's yeah, it's bringing back last night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. so three questions. Question one, right? This is a tough one. Yeah, I've seen a lot of the YouTube guys answering this though recently. They have. Cal Freezy answered it. He answered it. Chip what was on. his answer? Uh, Over a mill. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, but are they spot? Well, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, okay, that's unfair. Question yeah, one, Theo. What is your biggest brand deal to date? You don't have to name who it is, but oh, I was going to name who it is, but you can't okay, not you who the price is. No, the price. Oh, no, the price is the main. The price part. is the main part. That's what people care about. Oh, but I thought I, had to, I thought it, 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 biggest brand deal answer no, is no, 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 I can, I, I can answer it. No, 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 no you can't change it. You can't answer, change no. it. Well, we we're saying the rules here, boy. All right, so just in money, in monetary value. <sighs> Do you know it? Yeah, I know it. Of course, so I he's thinking about it right now. Just thinking about just it. Just thinking about where I started. That's it. In McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And you're going to say the monotone? No. Way. Oh, you're not. Oh, I, I thought, oh, right, I'm just like, okay. tickle it, tickle it. Okay. Me and Jack are going to guess the fee yeah. and, who, and say who's closest. Do you know what I, I love and dislike about this whole thing with money and stuff? God. Yeah, is that in America, 
I always say this all the time, in America, if you talk about money, they love bigging you up and like, oh my God, man, I'm so proud of you and stuff. Yeah, you're but right. But I feel like, I feel like it's changing in the UK now. Yeah. I feel, especially with like fellas like Chip and Cow, mm. the way that audience is, I feel, and especially our Chunks did a one recently, I think. Yeah. And all the comments yeah. were like, get that ba bag, bro. Yeah, yeah, it is changing. I feel like, right. yeah, I feel like people are like, I'm not like proud, but like more like. More like, oh, that's what they do. That's a job. Now. Yeah. Rather than, yeah. I think people like the honesty. Yeah, I agree. Um, all right. All right. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say. Okay, yeah, you you say first, and I'll say second. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Was right. this for one video? What was this for? Yeah. No, it's a um, yearly contract. Uh, it was yeah, it's like a long term, a long term partner. contract, and you're saying the whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna say. For what what deliverables do you have though? Like, <laughs> you want a, con a contract <laughs> breakdown? <laughs> I need, I need, otherwise, what? <laughs> what was the termination clause on that bad boy? Exclusivity. Go um, on. It was yeah, it was a lot, a lot of deliverables. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. I'm gonna say one forty. No. Okay. I'm gonna say. Uh, 2.30. No, I fucking wish. Oh, oh my God. No, Can you no, imagine? You said, it, you said it was a year. I did a lot of deliveries. Oh, fuck me. I'd do, sh <laughs> I'd do a lot for that. Okay, so who's closer? Uh, you're closer. I'm closer. No, okay, so well, there you go. But that could be as like... Yeah, that could be anything. Yeah. Mm, shit. Well, I'd say it could be a, It could be 10K. It's not. Because that's either. close to me, right? It could be zero. It could be zero. It could yeah. be zero. Last question, Theo Baker. <sighs> Least compatible person in the industry... That you've that worked what, what with. Is, so Okay, yeah. What does that mean? Worst person you've worked with. Let's just say that, because that doesn't make sense. <laughs> At least compatible. But this, oh, this is so, such an annoying answer that's like... Oh, is that, yeah, oh, no, God. you know, like, it is annoying, but like, most people are just nice. Well, okay. there must be someone. Okay, or group, or group that you've worked with. There must be, you've never met one, not, you work with, you work with Mbappe. He's lovely. Oh, yeah, he probably Okay, fine. Be. Neymar? Lovely. Okay, okay, fine. There must be a footballer that's a bit of a knob. Harry Kane. Never worked with it, but the, I'm, when I meet these footballers, I'm like, I become a weirdo. So they're You're like big fan. They sort of like they oh. sort of like, oh fuck this guy. Okay, what give about a shit, we'll, so we'll bleep give out a shit. the we'll bleep out the name. There's no there's no all there's the no one. I swear to God, all the footballers that I've met, I've just been well sound. Okay, not footballers, but any anyone. Oh, fuck, anyone in your like, life that you've thought, oh, or uh, you could shot it. Nah. <laughs> I could shot, but then I just, I gender. I've, Some reason I don't want you to shot that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. Nah, this, everyone's just like, no, nah, oh, this is oh, so irritating, isn't it? Okay, Very. all right, fine. Let's just say he's the nicest person. Oh, oh that's crap. Isn't okay, it? yeah, fine. I'll shot it. All right. Oh. Shot it. Okay. Oh, oh you're a mess. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, oh, that's fucking stinks. Okay, okay do you want to ask us questions? Um, who's the worst person you've worked with? Right. Worked with? <laughs> uh, you didn't answer. Yeah. I suppose we can... Okay, fine. Um, worst person, person we've worked with, or brand? Person. Worked with or no? Do you think worked with? Worked with. What? Uh, cut this out. Bleep it. Bleep it. Uh, who's that? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's not going to see it. You might as well say it. She? Uh, yeah. <laughs> or he. It's not nothing to do with that. Why? Why is that? Uh, really up themselves, and they treated people like shit, and I hate. Oh, that's not nice. No, nah. it's all about good. Nice. Just be a good person. Yeah. Well, the thing is, when I did this thing, they were like so up their own. Like they, they thought they were leagues above everyone else. So this thing we worked on, um, there was like a private section for them, and they walked past everyone else, and they didn't say hi. They just like didn't even look at them, and I was like, "Oh, come on! Everyone's a person. Like we're all working together." Yeah, it's just like yeah. So that you know, sorry, I don't want to bring it up, but when I did the Mbappe and Neymar stuff, mm. there was other player PSG players there. Mm. They were so like normal and got involved, and these are the biggest superstars this is in the what world. I mean, that when people like where this person was, yeah, who like realistically yeah. is probably like I've got a how funny, big's your ego? Do you know I've got yeah. a funny. Just be a nice person. This same person uh, screamed at the producers because they wouldn't let them smoke a blunt in the Uber. <laughs> Classy <laughs> girl. Yeah. Well. Or boy. Classy boy. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, um, and then also when we were filming. Someone they had bouncers and someone was knocking on the window and they were like, "Oh, go sort them out," and, it, and then they said, "Oh, they wanted a picture of me." Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. the best feeling yeah. I've ever had. 
But no. yeah, I don't feel like anyone knows who she is. Yeah, but I'm not going to say it. Don't, don't say it. Who's, yeah. who's yours then? I don't actually have one. Oh. I, I've been, uh, I, I wish I, I didn't. Okay, know. okay. Well, I've been thinking, I was thinking when you were it telling that hard. story, and I was thinking, I don't think I've th- worked with anyone not. Especially in the UK, like the majority of the UK scene are just like normal guys. I feel like mm. if we, in America, maybe it's a bit different because everyone, in, especially in Hollywood, everyone looks out more for themselves yeah. and like can be quite snaky. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Well, I feel like in the UK, everyone's just gets everyone on. is like nice i feel like yeah. most people are nice yeah and there's there's not anyone that i feel like he's actually been a dick there's yeah. people i'm like oh, i don't really care i don't think there's like as much competition in the uk no there's not there's no. very like everyone very, kind everyone of wants to, everyone wants to work together help everyone yeah yeah i like yeah. it's a nice community i like that all right another question <sighs> we'll be no, oh, do, do one more shit shit um what is your biggest one-off paycheck. <laughs> okay. Are you saying it, yeah? Are you going to say it? Uh, I feel like we should say it. Well, you didn't say it. Wait, is it the same? No. No. Oh. Uh, I feel like we can say it. Got him. Well, if you, if you, if you, if you, the more you say it, I feel like we can say it, the less people are going to be... If I say it, will both of you say it then? No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I did my job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's mental. Okay, well, just... okay, okay well, I'll do the guessing thing. Okay. Okay. That's a good idea. Um, fuck. Was it for like a one, what, what, what we're talking here? What sort of deliverables are we doing? Uh... <laughs> oh, this, is, this must be the most fucking irritating thing to listen okay. to. Oh, oh my God. This not, the, yeah, yeah, this sounds <laughs> awful. On, right, let's just say it. I'll listeners. say it. I'll go on say it. in, go on in, say it. You say it. I used to, I... This is just, just complete random. Yeah. But I remember my first YouTube paycheck. How much was that? A thousand pounds. Nice. Wow, nice. And it was the first month at uni. Oh, oh that goes a long buzzing. way. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I remember going in I went oh yeah, going to Old Fire Station at Bournemouth Uni <laughs> with like the it was just two of so we were waiting for like the other three to join our flat. Mm. So there's three of us that joined the other way for the other three. I took these two and did the old, old fire station in Bournemouth. And I was like, three shots, please. <laughs> Bacon grey goose. At a oh. fire station? It was, it was like an, it was like a Not, converted fire station. Into it's a called, it's oh, a club. Oh, it's called a fire station. Say, yeah. Why are you out of <laughs> yeah. get fire a paycheck station. and go down the and fire station? the first station. time I had four figures in my bank account. Four figures. Wow. And oh, yeah, I was, I, I, at uni it was different. I, Mate, was, like, yeah. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. I fucking made it. Literally. This is it. I am alive. The first <laughs> brand deal I did on TikTok, I got five quid. And I was telling my mum, I was like, <laughs> yes, five quid. And I literally was saying to my mum, like, I can actually do this. I'm making money from making That's videos. true. That's a snare. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'll never forget that. Yeah. yeah. I think mine was like 200 or something. I remember it was what, 200. I remember Joe paid me for, he paid me for like a video to be either be, yeah, it was... Fuck me. Hello. Yeah, it was like, I'm pretty Christ. sure it was like, I came up with a video idea and we've made it and he was like, I'll give you 50% of like the ad revenue. Oh, sick. And Was this when he was booming, booming? Like- yeah, no, this was like probably about 50k subscribers, maybe 100k. I don't oh, know. Oh, that's, okay. I'm pretty sure it was like, well, I've Malfoy. Like, I'm pretty sure. I don't know which video it was exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But um, I was in the car park in Eastbourne outside the gym. And I looked at my bank account and he just transferred me 600 pounds. That's Aww. it. And I was like, I, so I was at McDonald's. I never had more than 150 pounds in my account ever. Mm. But you're loving it. And I saw it. I was like, oh my God. Did it? I was loving it. Yeah. Uh, but I, I was like, oh my God. Like, what the fuck? Do you have the thing where like, now you've got money coming in. Do you like, are you quite stingy with your money? Because no, you're not. No. See, I'm the complete opposite. I think yeah. even if I spend like, 20 pound on food i'm like shit because when i was broke that would hurt like a meal out would hurt yeah. but even now i'm like that's 20 quid but no i i am and i'm not like i'll be like oh i'm not paying an extra two pound on that yeah, yeah delivery yeah but then i'll go buy a, a, a new camera but then it's like i'm investing into the business and exactly stuff. yeah yeah so it's I, different, I, I, different things yeah different. but I'll, i like I'll always, every time I go home with my boys at home, I'll always like pay for dinner and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I've, yeah, like, yeah. I, I try to he- not help but, out, but I try to like... Mm, I feel though when you keep doing that, because I, I do that sometimes, I feel like if you do it a lot, then your mates might take it for granted and just yeah. expect you. Nah, well, I, yeah, maybe, but mm. yeah. 
No, you got my, good mates. Not my boys, yeah. Not your boys. Not your boys. Yeah. All right. Well, go on then, Carl. Answer the question. What question? Oh, yeah. You're on a yeah. Tangent, How much uh, you were... Your one-off payment. Ah. Uh, Mate, I think if chunks in that can do how it. Mu- how much do you get paid for afterlife? Okay, this is this. I said this on the fellas. That was um, I actually saw that clip the other day. It was eighteen hundred quid. That's sick. Which is for good. one day. How much for half a day filming? Half a day shoot with Ricky Gervais. I would have done for free. That's really sick. And I had no money back then. Um, it's sick. <clears throat> okay, if you say your one off, I'll say mine. Come on, go on. Okay. I mean, the thing is. This okay. Let's disclaimer this. This isn't a, like a bragging thing. No, it's not. I don't want to. Right. Say the more you point. say that, I know, no, no, because I know the comments are gonna be like, "Oh, you're just trying to." Uh, yeah. Oh God, do okay. Maybe we don't say it. That's mental. Okay, fine. I feel like people are gonna hate on us. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's not. That's yeah, a bad not idea. That's it. a bad idea. It's not that much, by the way. We're yeah. not fucking mil- millionaires. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, look, look behind you, boys. Yeah, exactly. Well, we might be. No, I'm joking. Um, but anyway, that's the end of this episode. Thank you very much, Theo Baker, for coming on. Thank, thank you, you very anything much. Anything you want to say? Uh, thank plug you anything? very much for having me. I love the set. Do you want to plug anything? Pitch side? Yeah, check out Pitch side. <laughs> Bigger um, podcast than ours. But <laughs> how many views is that on now? Weekly? Uh, it's not. He doesn't, doesn't know. Know. he doesn't know. He doesn't know anything. Yeah, but you do those are different things. So yeah, I guess it's oh, it's clips, isn't it? Yeah, clips. Yeah. yeah, it's like yeah, it's clips and Spotify listens. Yeah. Okay. And also live streams you do all the time. So. Live streams, yeah. Yeah. So yeah you're always, you're and, just a pitch boy. Yeah, we're just always live. Just always never ending. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Well, anything you want to say? No. Thank you for coming on. No, it's been, been a pleasure. Pleasure. Come back next week for another special guest. Woo! Is it who is it who you got on after this? No, uh, no, we've uh, got. Uh, should we say actually? Yeah, let's say. Do you know who Asim Chowdhury is? Chapati G. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He nothing. was here when yeah. Yeah, he's he's on. He's, he's on. on. You know the person you've got on after this is one of my favorite TikTokers. Really? Fuck off. Yeah. Ah, well, yeah. you're sick we too. I know. No, 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 no. Seriously, you love, really? I find it. I don't know what's talking about it. That like, I get it every every time. It doesn't matter. Really? What time of the day it just tickles me. It tickles oh wow, okay. Me. Yeah. Well you'll see that guest see in who... two weeks. Yeah. Uh yeah. Yeah. So you'll see him at some point. Probably. Sometime. <laughs> if we yeah. <laughs> All right. See you later, everyone. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe, comment. Please. Uh Theo is sexy if you've got this far. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, Theo is quite sexy. Sexy. Thank you.